We're continuing uh, with comments about the stories in Zen Flesh, Zen Bones, a book by Paul Reps and Yogin Sinzaki that was published back in the late 50s, early 60s. We're on case number 29, story number 29, No Moon, No Water. When the nun Chiyono studied Zen under Buko of Ingarku, she was unable to attain the fruits of meditation for a long time. Of course, just like us, we come practicing, hoping to have insight, hoping to have a direct experience of the, of the bountiful nature of things, and we are frustrated because we keep meeting ourself. And so we end up practicing and practicing, and sometimes for a long time. And sometimes people have insights in a less, uh, less long time. At last, one moonlit night, she was carrying water in an old pail bound with bamboo. The bamboo broke and the bottom fell out of the pail. And at that moment, Chiyono was set free. So, an old-fashioned water bucket, probably traditionally a lacquer bucket, traditionally um, held together and then bound uh, with rope or bamboo or... And it's a symbol of the self, a symbol of of who we are, that we're carrying this, this whole world, our whole life, is like carrying it in a bamboo bucket, in a bucket. So, here's the poem that she wrote. In this way and that, I tried to save the old pail. Since the bamboo strip was weakening and about to break, until at last the bottom fell out, no more water in the pail, no more moon in the water. Just like our lives, we spend our life just patching things up, patching and trying to repair this and trying to take care of that and trying to keep it together. Our whole life is spent trying to keep our whole life together. Especially as an older person, you know, this aches and that aches and this goes wrong and that goes wrong. And you can spend <clears throat> limitless amount of time trying to hold the life together. But at some point, we have the opportunity to actually see that it's all a construct. It's all woven together. And that it all can fall apart. It all can And there is still something to be experienced. We can't fall out of the universe. So a traditional uh, image in Zen Buddhism has been the bucket falling out of the, the bucket falling out of the, uh, excuse me, the bottom falling out of the bucket. The bottom falling out of the bucket. All that we contained and held and all that was suddenly, poof, it's gone. And we can see what's really left. So may each of us have the bottom fall out and we can then look at that moment and say, what is true? What is the experience right now? Everything disappears and yet, and yet,